today we are going to discuss about the next conic which is ellipse so i just copy paste so just look at the main points what i am saying only so as like parabola and circle ellipse is also a conic section that means you have seen that it is a intersection of a double napped con and a plane now circle has particular definition parabola has a particular definition why say ellipse is also having a particular definition ellipse is an ellipse is set of all points in a plane एक प्लेन में जो भी पॉइंट्स है पूरा पॉइंट का कलेक्शन कंडीशन द सम ऑफ उस डिस्टेंसेस फ्रॉम टू फिक्सड पॉइंट्स इज अ कांस्टेंट दैट मींस यू हैव टू फिक्सड पॉइंट्स सो टू फिक्सड पॉइंट्स सो वी कॉल दैट फिक्सड पॉइंट्स एज f1 f2 ओके दे आर नॉन दे आर फोकस सो देयर आर टू फोकस फॉर दिस एलिप्स सो इसका plural plural it is we call it as we we don't call it as focuses we call it as foci plural hmm? so these are the focuses so abhi kaise hai ki sabhi points like uh, so either a point p in such a way that p f1 plus p f2 is equal to say some constant say some k whatever it is से सम कांस्टेंट सो और p1 पकड़ो p1 सो अनदर पॉइंट अनदर पॉइंट p2 इन सच ए वे दैट उस पॉइंट का डिस्टेंसेस फ्रॉम दीस टू फिक्सड पॉइंट p2 f1 p2 f2 वो दोनों ऐड करेंगे तो भी द सेम कांस्टेंट आना चाहिए और अनदर पॉइंट से p3 so distances of that point from these two fixed points p3 f1 and p3 f2 is ka sum that should be that constant same so that is what it says ellipse is a set of all points in a plane the sum of whose distances from two fixed points in the plane is a constant so then if you join all those points if you join all those points you will get a shape like this this kind of shape here you can see clear picture hmm? understood so that figure that is known as an ellipse and this two fixed point this fixed points has a particular name two fixed points are called foci it is actually plural of focus so in case of parabola we have seen that it is a collection of all points in such a way that the sum of the distances from uh, a fixed line and the, oh, sorry it it lies equidistant from a fixed line and a fixed point so udhar equidistant matlab like uh, that koi bhi point le lo uska distance same hona chahiye jaise maybe first point ka distance from line and from uh, focus 5 hoga second point ka distance from line 6 hoga from focus also 6 hoga that that distance is varying only thing is if you take any point that lies equidistant from a particular line and a fixed point fixed line and a fixed point but either i say nahi the sum lega na aapko same jaise aapko say idhar aap suppose say uh, aapne 10 bola so 10 hai to idhar bhi aapko 10 milna chahiye har jagah kya milna chahiye 10 milna chahiye okay so that is a definition hmm? clear ellipse is a set of all points in a plane whose sum of distances from two fixed points is always a constant that fixed point is known as the foci or focus or foci hmm? clear yes sir dekho idhar uh, you can see two fixed points see this is one fixed point and this is another fixed point so this is the distance of one point from the first fixed point this is the distance of the second point see this is the line you can see that this is the line 
इसका लेंथ तो फिक्स है वी आर नॉट चेंज इट जस्ट इमेजिन दैट इज अ रॉप सो द लेंथ इज नॉट चेंज मे बी दिस लेंथ ये सेवन होगा ये थ्री होगा कुछ टाइम के बाद ए सिक्स होगा ये फोर होगा देन ये फाइव होगा ये फाइव होगा देन ये वन होगा ये नाइन होगा सो वट इट इज सो सी दैट एनिमेशन देखो if we collect all such points in the plane as you seen we will get a shape like that that shape is known as ellipse now i'm going to tell you some general things related with ellipse now listen we'll go a little fast that fixed points is known as the focus so it's clear ho gaya then if if you join that so okay, see you have fixed point f1 and f2 that if you j- join that two points If you join that two points, a midpoint. There is a midpoint of that. That is known as the center. देखो, the midpoint of the line segment joining the foci is called the center of the ellipse. So this is known as the center. We call it as oh, this is known as the center of the ellipse. Okay, that is one point. So अभी हम हम जो discuss कर रहे हैं ना जैसे parabola के case में हमने बोला था vertex, vertex at the origin. So here हम ऐसे डिस्कस कर रहे हैं कि उसका सेंडर इज एट ऑरिजिन सेंडर इज एट ऑरिजिन सेंडर ऑरिजिन में आएगा ऐसे वाला एलिप्स के बारे में हम डिस्कस करने के लिए जा रहे हैं सो वी विल डिस्कस ओनली दैट टाइप ऑफ एलिप्स सेंडर एट ऑरिजिन सो द मिड पॉइंट सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट द मिड पॉइंट ऑलरेडी मैंने बोला व्हाट इज फोकस नाउ द मिड पॉइंट जॉइनिंग द लाइन सेगमेंट एफ वन ऑन द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट जॉइनिंग द फोसी एफ वन एंड एफ टू जॉइन करेंगे तो आपके एक लाइन सेगमेंट मिलेगा उसका मिड पॉइंट दैट इज नोन एज सेंटर नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग द लाइन सेगमेंट थ्रू द फोसी ऑफ द एलिप्स इज कॉल्ड मेजर एक्सेस सो Uh, we know that the shape is like. Um, let me draw the shape. Like this. Then we can draw a line segment through the foci of the ellipse. Dono ellipse se pass ho re. Jaise ek line segment ab draw kar sakte hain. Jaise I will draw it here. this one right the line segment passing here you can see here this one ye ye se leke b tak that line that line has a particular name that is known as this is known as major axis this is known as major axis okay this is known as major axis then the line segment through the center and perpendicular to the major axis that is known as minor axis so if you draw a line segment through the center perpendicular to the major axis and this is known as this is known as minor axis of the ellipse minor axis of the ellipse now the end points of the major axis are known as elli- vertices so either major axis can either major axis this is end point so they are known as this is vertex this is one vertex this is another vertex so uska plural hai vertex ka plural hai vertices hmm? vertices okay so we have seen focus center major axis minor axis vertex okay now so what we will denote is we always assume in case of ellipse we always assume okay length of the major axis is 2a length of the major axis matlab idhar se idhar tak 
this length we call it as 2a length of the minor axis minor axis hame pata hai ki kaise this much this is 2b okay length of the major axis that is 2a and length of the minor axis is 2b so major axis is big you know that major axis is big so hamesha uh, hamesha our assumption will be a is greater than b in case of ellipse so length of the major axis is 2a length of the minor axis is 2b distance between the 4c distance between the 4c is 2c that means uh, this much distance this much distance is c so this is also c because distance from center to 4c dono milke distance between two 4c's are 2c so these are the letter we are using in the equation of the ellipse a b c always we assume a is greater than b only because major axis is bigger than minor axis so major axis ka length hum hamesha le lenge 2a minor axis ka length hum le lenge 2b distance between two forces that is c so semi major axis matlab aapko pata hai major axis ka half semi matlab half so full major axis ka length uh, 2a to semi major axis that will be a only semi minor axis only uska half minor axis half this will be b only okay so that is not, semi major axis matlab major axis ka half means origin se one vertex tak semi minor axis matlab origin se so usko actually do, there is a definition it is known as co vertex these two are co vertexes but we don't use that name here but it's okay co vertex bolte hai usko okay clear itna clear ho gaya idhar clearly picture diya hai ki dekho ye full length this is major axis this is minor axis then this is center these are the two focus here is the vertex half that is semi major axis that is a half semi minor minor axis that is b and distance from one focus to center is c so so from center to other focus is also c so total distance between them is 2c so always we assume major axis is big okay before go into standard equation of ellipse just wanted to let you know uh some other point one is a relationship between semi major axis semi minor axis and the distance of the focus from the center that means relation between a b c a is the length of semi major axis half of major axis b is the length of half of minor axis c is the length of distance from the center to one of the four c okay so what is the relation between them that is the most important thing the relation between them is a square is equal to b square plus c square so i'll just tell you very quickly how it came dekho p is a point on the ellipse hame pata hai p is a point on the ellipse p is a point on the ellipse why say q so idhar aap dekh sakte q p is a point on the ellipse q is a point on the ellipse point on the ellipse dono ellipse the point hai so our fixed points are f1 and f2 to so, hame pata hai p f1 plus p f2 similarly you can find q f1 plus q f2 okay p f1 पी एफ वन के लिए आप ऐसे कर सकते हैं इट इज एक्चुअली एफ वन से ओ तक डिस्टेंस प्लस ओ से पी तक डिस्टेंस पी एफ वन के लिए पी एफ वन पी एफ वन पी एफ वन मतलब एफ वन ओ प्लस ओ पी एफ वन ओ इधर तक देन ओ पी सो पी एफ वन को ऐसे स्प्लिट करके रख सकते हैं प्लस पी एफ टू एफ वन ओ फर्स्ट टू फोकस है ओरिजिन तक सो वी नो दैट दैट डिस्टेंस इज सी प्लस ओ पी ओ पी इज ओरिजिन से वर्टेक्स तक वी नो दैट दैट इज सेमी मेजर एक्सेस दैट इज ए प्लस पी एफ टू पी एफ टू मतलब दिस मच डिस्टेंस पी एफ टू ओरिजिन से पी तक इट इज सेमी मेजर एक्सेस दैट लेंथ इज ए ओरिजिन से एफ टू तक फोकस तक डिस्टेंस इज सी 
so p f two is a minus c. so आपको मिलेगा two a. okay. so मैंने ऐसे एक point लिया p which is uh, at the end point of the means which is a vertex end point of the major axis. so that's a vertex that lies on the ellipse. so उस डिस्टेंसेस फ्रॉम टू फिक्सर पॉइंट हमने ले लिया वो टू ये अभी क्यू एफ वन देखो डायरेक्टली इसी बताते इधर देखो क्यू एफ वन सो वी नो दैट दिस डिस्टेंस इज बी दिस डिस्टेंस इज सी सो दिस इज अंडर रूट बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर क्योंकि पाइथागोरस थ्योरम एंड दिस इज आल्सो सेम बी सी सो अंडर रूट बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर सो ये दोनों ऐड करेंगे तो अंडर रूट बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस अंडर रूट बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर सो आपको मिलेगा 2 अंडर रूट so 2 under root b square plus c square but we know that aap ellipse mein ellipse ke upar koi bhi point le lo then aapka jo two fixer point hai focuses focus or foci uska distance ka sum hamesha constant hona chahiye so hamesha constant that means aapko milega aapka this 2a and this 2 into under root b square plus c square will be same ये टेन है तो ये भी टेन होना चाहिए बिकॉज दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एलिप्स डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एलिप्स इज इट इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल पॉइंट्स इन द प्लेन इन सच ए वे दैट सम ऑफ द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दीज टू फिक्सड पॉइंट्स इज ऑलवेज अ कांस्टेंट सो ये दोनों सही होना चाहिए सो दोनों साइड से टू कट हो जाएगा स्क्वायर करेंगे तो आपको मिलेगा ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर सो दिस इज वन इम्पोर्टेंट अभी थियरम वगैरह भूल जाओ कोई इश्यू नहीं बट यू शुड रिमेम्बर द रिलेशन ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर दैट इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ए बी एंड सी वेर ए इज द सेमी मेजर एक्सेस बी इज द सेमी माइनर एक्सेस सी इज द डिस्टेंसेस फ्रॉम द सेंडर टू द फोर सी ओके एंड अनदर केस so this just for your information only i will tell you very fast special case of an ellipse so first thing when a is equal c is equal to 0 so in the picture dekho c is equal to 0 c 0 matlab focus and dono focus kidhar aaya center pe aa gaya that means for c merge together with the center c is equal to 0 matlab distance between the center and the focus is 0 so that means डिस्टेंस बिटवीन सेंटर एंड फोकस ये दोनों ये दोनों है है ना सेंटर पे आ गया सो दैट टाइम व्हाट विल हैपन देखो सी तो तो आपको आपको पास रिलेशन क्या हो गया सर्कल क्योंकि ए इज इक्वल टू बी है तो दोनों दोनों सेम सेमी मेजर एक्सेस भी सेम सेमी माइनर एक्सेस आल्सो सेम दैट मींस समथिंग लाइक अ रेडियस दोनों सेम है सो इट्स सेम सो दैट विल बी एलिप्स बिकम्स अ सर्कल सो दैट इज वन स्पेशल केस व्हेन सी इज इक्वल टू 0 व्हेन सी इज इक्वल टू 0 द एलिप्स बिकम्स अ सर्कल सो सर्कल इज अ स्पेशल केस ऑफ एन एलिप्स सो दैट इज वन कंडीशन व्हेन सी इज इक्वल टू 0 एलिप्स बिकम्स अ सर्कल अनदर थिंग when c is equal to a c is equal to a matlab uh, this focus came at the vertex here f2 came at here kyunki c and a a is a semi major axis so semi major axis and the distance from the center to the focus are same matlab abhi focus came to the vertex this f2 came to the right side vertex f1 came to the left side vertex so what will happen so c is equal to a a to uh, if c is equal to a so we know that a square is equal to b square plus c square That is a square is equal to uh, b square plus c is equal to the a square. So, इसमें से आपको मिलेगा b square is equal to zero. That means b is equal to zero. b is equal to zero मतलब semi b semi minor axis था. Semi minor axis zero हो गया. So क्या हो गया? That becomes a line. Okay. So this is the case. देखो. If that focus uh, c is equal to a, what will happen? that it becomes a line so these are two special cases just for your general information see the relation connecting a b and c is a square is equal to b square plus c square and then when two special case when c is equal to 0 ellipse becomes a circle when c is equal to a ellipse becomes a straight line okay and one last concept two more concept is there one concept is eccentricity so you don't need to study much about that it is this ratio 
e is equal to c by a that's all you just keep in mind e is equal to c by a it is a ratio of distances from center to the foci to the uh, semi major axis c by a that number is known as eccentricity you will get a number eccentricity uske bare mein zyada aapko uh, 11th mein padhai karne ke liye nahi hai har conic ke liye eccentricity hai later i will tell you what it is but just remember that eccentricity is defined as the ratio of c to a where c is the distance from center to the foci and a is the length of the semi major axis so that quantity is known as the eccentricity okay